What's up guys, I'm doing another video and today we're going to clean up the FJ40 and uh, kind of do a quick look around and you know stuff like that and we're going to check out and see you know all the stuff that we kind of need to do to the thing and uh, yeah and we'll, we'll do those things in another video but today's just kind of checking it over cleaning it up and you know seeing what needs to be done. So uh, now I'm going to start it which I think I found the key to actually starting it and uh, we'll get it in the driveway so we can wash it. Okay, so I think I found the key to starting this. One, two, three, four pumps of gas. Put the key in, pull the choke out a little. Yep, that's the key, found it. Okay, so we're gonna start the wash now. Um, I'm gonna go get my two buckets and uh, I'll also link a, link a video down below that I made where I washed the 07 Corolla which is somewhere over there and uh, I showed you how to properly wash clay polish and wax your car and uh, yeah so I'm not gonna go through all the steps today I'm just going to uh, give the thing a little wash down I know one thing I'm gonna have to watch out for is that because this is a uh, convertible top you know it, it has little areas where you can get into the the truck pretty easily and uh you know water can uh get through like in the the door seams and stuff you know being a convertible top it doesn't it's not water tight so we're gonna have to be a little careful washing but it shouldn't be any big deal so anyways guys let's get started Okay, so the FJ's all clean. We're looking good. It only leaked a little bit. So, let's see. So, there's some water down here. It's no big deal. Not really anything. It just kind of, it runs off the, the top here and into the seal, but really not that bad. This is why my dad and I hate soft tops. But, it's okay on this side. There's nothing really bad and uh, in the back is not too bad either so uh, now what we're gonna do is well number one when this truck was in a in the shop I don't know if I ever mentioned this but um we bought this truck from a dealer from a used car dealership and on the way home the motor blew up and uh, <laughs> Yeah, that was great. So the motor blew up on the way home, and uh, I'll show you real quick. I think the reason it blew up was, if you could see my Disco Disco heat wrap down there, it's because this is the oil cooler, and I think these lines are too close to the header, which caused the oil to overheat, lose oil pressure, and then the motor blew up. So they put a new motor in it, or a new short block, and then they just slapped the cylinder head and everything else on top of the old one. So where was it hitting at with this? 
Oh yeah, so when it was at the shop, this happened. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's like all these little scratches all over the place because I think they use this, at, and right here, I think they use this fender as like their personal tool bench, which is what a lot of people do, but I mean, maybe it's just me, but that's not something that you do to someone's, you know, someone's vehicle that isn't yours, especially when, I mean, it's not a great paint job. There's runs in it, but it is new paint. I don't know why you would just think it's okay to do that. But anyway, long story short, they, they rested their tools, I think, on the, on the fenders there and scratched it all up. So we're going to take some polish and try and polish that stuff out. aftermarket weird paint job yep that's what I was telling him is that the paint isn't great but there's all these scratches in the fender right here from like the mechanics using it as like their personal tool bench or whatever yeah, bad paint is better than no paint yeah I mean it's it's terrible paint like there's runs in it and stuff but it looks good like when it's driving by you're like oh that's a nice truck you know there's like runs right here but it's not that bad it's okay you like the truck though yes <laughs> this is Something that he's wanted for several years now. They might have to run some drips, but buying it was no error. Eh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was good actually. What you doing, boy? What are you doing, Shadow? Okay, anyway. Okay, so we polished a little mark out right there next to the logo, and also these scratches are all nice and polished out. There's like there's a couple little marks here, but they're not black with dirt anymore, so you can't really tell. And uh, it looks good, so now we're going to clean the tires, and then I might pull the valve cover off and paint the valve cover. What do you think, Shadow? You're gonna run away? Okay, bye. He was checking out the FJ. He likes it, I think. Taking off in the 07. Bye! Uh, I love that car so much. Okay, so now let's make this wheel and the front wheel look as good as the other side. So, boom, done. They look good. Both the front and the back there. I said front, front and back. Wow, okay. I know what they're talking about. Okay, so anyway, the front and the back tire look good, and they all look nice now. So, next thing we have to do is we're going to clean up the interior a little bit. And uh, one thing I want to check out is, uh, I don't know if you can see, that, that right there is light coming through the bottom of the floor. This is fiberglass filler. See all that rust there? Not good. So, what I'm going to do is uh, pull these carpets out real quick. I'm going to vacuum up completely and then I'm going to go under the truck and uh, probably sand that down a little bit and check out what we're looking at. Hey, this is fantastic. So, I don't know if you can see. That's uh, fiberglass also, which uh, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be, but I don't think it is. And uh, you can see that this is very rusted. So we're going to take some sandpaper and uh, we're going to fix this rust a little bit here.
Okay, so you can see pretty clearly that the seat is bolted straight to a fiberglass filler portion of the floorboards. So that means this entire thing from like, that's metal, but from here all the way to like right here is going to need to be cut out and re have uh, new floor pans put in. But for right now, I'm gonna try and protect it, protect the metal, and uh, we're gonna spray paint some stuff, but let me sand under the truck real quick. Okay, now I'm going to do the same for the interior. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same for this side, which also has fiberglass. Yay. So we're gonna do the same thing for this side, vacuum it up, and uh, then we're gonna paint it, rust to reform it. Like I said, I know I'm not doing a great job. We're gonna replace these floors anyway. I'm just trying to make them look better and do better as they are now. Okay, so I don't really know what this is, but this looks to be like a speaker wire. It's going to something back there, the speaker's back there. This bundle of stuff is quite special. Um, I don't know what it is, and I hate electrical, so I'm just gonna stick that back in there and pretend that I've never seen it before in my life. But, uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's not great. So we're gonna fix that eventually too. Now we just wait for that to dry and uh, wait for the interior to uh, gas out and then we'll uh, paint it and then call it good. And then we can uh, start working on other stuff. Okay, well, eh, it looks good. You can't really tell that uh, this is, you know, a different color from the rest of the car, this rust reformer, and the rest of the floor. I think it looks good. So I'm just going to uh, put this little thing right back in there which uh, really needs a new cap. But for now, I guess that'll just do it. Because that's how it was, so. Let me vacuum this carpet and put it in there. Okay, so uh, looking a little better in here. What we're gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna crawl in the back seat here, which is gonna be really fun. Uh, those papers are some stuff that uh, are service records. So we're gonna go in our fine little glove box here and uh, we're gonna vacuum out the entire back of the floor and condition the seat there, the vinyl seats, as well as these here. And then we're going to do the same thing for the top since it's uh, in nice condition. And even though we hate the top, it's in good condition and can be sold later for good money. So anyway, we're going to do that now. All 
All right, so I was going to uh, paint the engine. Uh, I don't know where my paint is. Don't worry, I'll find it after I'm finished filming this video, as usual. So uh, we're gonna paint the inside of the fender instead. Okay, so we painted the leaf springs and stuff, and uh, the inside of the fenders looks really nice. So now we're just gonna do the stuff the same to the other side. Okay, so uh, we painted both the fenders, we painted the little caps in the center of the wheel. Or not both fenders, but both insides of the fenders. And the leaf springs a little bit. So, I mean, a couple touch-ups, but it looks a lot better now. You can't really see any rust or, you know, like rust-colored things from the uh, front. So, yeah, it looks a lot better. But anyways, guys. I'm gonna call it done for today. I think it looks really good. Uh, you know, we didn't really do a whole lot, but we did uh, clean up a little rust spot, threw some rust reformer on it, painted a couple things, cleaned the truck up, and now it looks uh, better than it ever has since I've seen it. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Leave a like uh, if you like the video or leave a dislike and tell me how I can uh, improve. And uh, hit that subscribe button and comment any questions if you have any. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy.